Welcome to Justice Now. Um, you've reached a series on Tips for Black Workers, Part 29. And this is expect peer pressure when um, expect peer pressure when you are requesting training, and the peer pressure would be for you not to get that training. Um, I'm pretty sure that there are many black workers that have gone through this. Um, oftentimes, we are told what to do, not actually trained in what we're supposed to do, and then um, we get uh, penalized for it uh, when it comes to work performance reviews. So why did I bring this up? Well, it was interesting because yesterday uh, there was a company van um, that the employees can access. However, for all new hires under their policies and procedures, um, uh, they are required to undergo van training. Now the van training is not extensive, but it's just enough for the person who is going to be driving the van to get familiar with the van, to know how to park the van, um, how to drive it around, um, and um, you know how to utilize that van. Well, I did not receive van training, and um, apparently this van was made available, and um, I was asked uh, by the manager um, uh, why not take the van? And I advised, well, the reason why I'm not taking the van is because I have not received van training. So at this point, I don't feel comfortable taking the van. And um, so that was fine and that was left alone. But then later on, um, while I was doing my shift, um, there were three other peers um, that said, oh, well, why don't you use the van? And I said, well, I have not received van training. And then they started to start pressuring, oh, well, we didn't receive van training. And, you know, the van is pretty easy. It's just a bigger vehicle and all this stuff. And I stuck to my, stuck to my um, statement, which is under policies and procedures, new hires are to receive van training. I have not received van training as of yet, and I will not be driving the van until van training is received. End of story. And that's it. Um, there was another colleague that was saying, oh, well, my father has a van just like that, so that's how I knew how to use the van. To me, that I don't care. Because at the end of the day, what happens is there is a liability. So according to the policies and procedures, there's also a, a liability component to driving that van. If you are not trained in utilizing that van, you are responsible for paying the $500 deductible if you're in an accident. And one of the things that they're going to be asking is, were you trained to use the company van? And if I said no, but I still drove the company van, then I'm fully liable. And I'm not going to put myself in that position. Neither should you. So regardless of the amount of peer pressure that comes about from other colleagues, when you are asking to be trained on something, um, and you are adamant of being requested to be trained on something, but people or colleagues are trying to um, prevent that from happening, you continue to demand that you get the training because you are following policies and procedures, and if they have any questions, you are following policies and procedures. And that's that. That's end of story. There is nothing further to discuss. Um, I'm going to discuss with you in another video about um, about uh, communication domination <clears throat> and directing communication um, because you are going to also encounter communication domination where people are trying to monopolize uh, the talk time uh, instead of uh, reciprocating um, uh, the natural full flow of communication. And I'm also going to discuss about um, directing communication, how sometimes your communication is being directed and how you can direct communication. Uh, so that will be in the next video, part 30. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Also, like, share, and subscribe.